Good morning. So for years, I've said that uh, safety is a key piece to a great relationship. Now, think back six or seven months. We, 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 we've been with this COVID uh, thing for six or seven months. And I know for myself, I'm much more aware now of how to stay safe. Wear a mask, social distance, uh, wash your hands, etc. This is just six or seven months. Now, think of your old brain. It's had 500 million years to figure out how to stay safe. You won't fool it. You know, if the twig snaps in the forest out there uh, and there's a deer or an animal, it doesn't matter who snapped the twig, it's on high alert. And our old brain goes on high alert if it senses danger. Now, our, our new brain can override that, but just be aware that that's what happens. And th the other piece now is think about how relationships are often depicted in our culture. Movies, TV, those magazines at the checkout counter, but in real life. But think about it from your old brain point of view. If you attack me or yell at me or don't talk or shut down or make fun of me, what am I going to do except defend myself? You see it everywhere. And all I'm saying, it doesn't work. After 30 years of coaching couples, I know those tactics don't work. So really, my job in the office is simply to get two people to talk to each other in a safe way. And I can do that. I can coach them. And that's what we'll look at next time is the safe conversation process, which ensures safety. Okay, so have a great week and we'll talk next week.